matters <clears throat> still undecided, which we hope to clear this final week. Uh, I'd like to make it known publicly, Ron Starr, that I have accepted your coal miners' glove match. Uh, I've never been in one gear. For what I understand, you have a loaded glove that'll be hung on one of the posts in the ring, like eight feet above the ring, I believe. And if you can get your opponent down and climb that pole, reach that glove, you're able to use on your opponent. So, Ron Starr, I have accepted that match. We also, as you mentioned, we have a lot of $5,000 battle royal going on. Uh, we have a match with uh, Cuban and myself against Brown and Valentine for the vacant North American Tag Team title, which pleases me because they've been running away, getting disqualified on purpose to hang on that title. Well, now they're going to have to fight us because if they want to win that belt, they have to beat us. So that's what we want them to do is come at us. We're ready. Let's get a final word here from the Cuban assassin. $5,000 battle royal. I know that Ronald Starr don't going to be there because after that debate, he did we seen in the chain match, and a street fight, he's going to be in elbow to go in that ring. He may be going to go to the mental institution. Indeed, the Cuban assassin and Leo Burke mean business as the wrestling season winds down. Watch for it. It's all coming to a town in your area very, very soon. <laughs>